going on, Jerome's? Happy Saturday out there, everyone, everywhere. Just this much closer to the NFL draft, and hopefully your coffee is as hot and plentiful as the sexiness, the stank, the tss, I know, tss, sizzle off of this mock draft and what it's going to be. So this is multiple Super Bowl winning mock draft. I'm not going to lie. We haven't even started. I don't care. Let's go. At NFL draft, go. Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson. And even though the Vikings trade for Mason Cole, I don't think it takes offensive line off the table. Certainly doesn't. Certainly does not. So I got a trade offer. First one is insulting. So the Saints. Uh, we'll give you a two, uh, oh, two, three, six, and a future one. Okay, never mind. It's not as insulting. I didn't see the one. Um, hmm. Bucks, one, two, three. So that one is enticing. Patriots one five uh, no um, well hold so basically they're giving us a fifth round pick to move down one spot let's see who's on the board currently on the board at fourteen so Devonte Smith is there Elijah Vera Tucker for sure I I just feel like the drop even though you are getting a second round pick it's the at the ass end of the second round and you're at the bottom of the first now Aziz is on board Quiddy Pay is on board. It's unfortunate that Darius will win at 13, but it'd be what it'd be. So I would like to get Vera Tucker, but I would also like to trade down and still get Vera Tucker, if you know what I mean. But absent uh Jason Away still there, Caleb Farley. Man, they really downgraded Farley. Even though I he'll be fine on his pro day, but the injury, mm, it's still concerning. I get it. Newsom is still there. Man, if they're downgrading Caleb Farley that far, I mean, we'll go. We'll get him. Go Cosby's down there. Radens is down here as well. Zavin is down here. So uh, again, I would like to come away with AVT, but we're gonna maneuver. We're, we're gonna maneuver as much as we possibly can. So right now, uh, I will take the Patriots offer. How do we get back to that? All right. So bring up New England again. Belichick. Move up one spot. Actually, you know it's gonna cost you a fourth. Or they're just no. All right, how about your good four? How about your better four? How about your three? You'll do the three? Uh, now we're, to, oh, okay. Hmm. Can we get the two out of this deal? Like, what do we have to add? A good four? Hmm. So, uh, that's a little bit too much. But we can get the three? Okay. Shoot the J. Do we get the seventh, two? I'll get one, three, seven to come up one spot, likely to get Devontae Smith. Uh, oh! Belichick, my man, coming on through. You know he's, he's getting Devontae Smith. Yeah, well, all right. So the Raiders are now offering a six and a future fifth to come up two spots. Jaguars are offering a four and a five to come up ten spots. That doesn't seem like enough, uh, but we'll see who's on board. So they took, yeah, they took Devontae Smith. 17 is likely in the mix to still get AVT. 25 might be a little bit too late. But you still like the talent strata there. But let's see if we can gouge the Jaguars' eyes out. I want your two. How about the other two? Hmm. What's it going to take? So you want to come up, but you want to give up a four and a five. Hmm. How can we grease this? Uh, one four. So in, impossible. Not going to do it, huh? So, 144, 145. So, moving down 10 spots, and then that's the difference between a fourth, a 4 5, and a 2. So, the Vikings are coming up 55, 19, uh, 74 spots. Vikings come up 74 spots, and that costs them that and that. You can't even include the seventh? I mean, come on, you're busting my balls here, man. Do we do it? Like, can we still get AVT? At can we still get AVT at 25? And then we have all of this other sexiness. Okay, let's see what they do. You have 75 fourth round picks anyway. All right, so Jaguar said yes. Gal. All right, so let's see. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. AVT went. Ah, whatever. So, so we weren't going to get him at 17. That's whatever. All right, so let's recap at our draft capital right now. 
So we still have 25 from the Jacksonville Jaguars. We're back in the second round at 45, which is actually the Vikings pick from the Yannick the freaking Gakwe trade. We sat. We have three third round picks. We got an extra one from the Patriots. Uh, we gave away one of the fourth, still have three. We gave away one of the fifths. So we still have one. I uh, still only have one six because uh, he gave one away in the Mason Cole trade as well as uh, we got seven back from New England. So, okay, we're in business. Vikings still have 11 draft picks and you're freshening up and you're feeling pretty good. So let, let the board go. I don't even want to see who comes off the board. So now the Browns are, what? So for some reason, the Browns are offering their second and fourth to move up one spot, which the Ravens, who's on board? The Ravens are offering their second, third, and fifth to move up one spot. Who's on board? Who's on board that everyone's like Aziz, Pay, Phillips, away? I mean, maybe. Maybe. Um, wow, what do we do? Oh, oh, so this is a one and a two. Okay, okay, I see. I see. I'm dumb. Can't read. Whatever. I blame public schools. So... Okay, so coming up one spot, you're not even going to give up anything. All right, now screw you guys. I'm going to pick. So what do we do here? Cosme's on board. Aziz, Quiddy Pay. They, they're downgrading Quiddy Pay because of the measurables, like 33-inch arms, and he's only 6'2", but Quiddy Pay is a bad mother. He, he is. Uh, you have Owe on board. I know that he's really sexy right now. Cosme's on board. Mayfield's on board. I, I like him. Especially since Mayfield did play some guard at Michigan. I think that actually might be his natural proclivity, playing right guard in the NFL. Raddins is there as well. So what do, what do we do? Like, I would like to trade, but I'm not giving up that second round pick, man. Let's see what the Ravens want to do. So I, I will move down two spots because I'm pretty sanguine about the talent that's uh, currently on the board. Uh, let's see here. Baltimore. Come on. Eric DaCosta, even though I do, I, I trust you as far as I can throw you, EDC. Oh, you will give up a third. Wow. Can we sweeten this up to a second? Wow. You will give up a second. Wow. Okay. Can we get that six? No. Okay. Willy Wonka flavor. Hmm. Okay. Moving up one spot, somehow, someway, you're going to give up a second. And, you know, I don't make the rules. I just work here. And again, we, we are only selecting one pick, right? Okay. Just want to make sure because Eric DeCosta and the Ravens have just worked us in previous years. And I, I don't want to take any chances. So we got another trade offer. I didn't even look at it. But they came up and got Quiddy Pay. Okay. We'll, we'll do that. Uh, but the Bengals want to come up. I'm not ready to f fall down that far, man. Now, if you give up two, three, uh, nah. No, no, no. So now, I mean, we could take Phillips. I, I do like him, a heavy-handed former UCLA guy. Jason Wett obviously has that upside potential. Is already good against the run. Can add good size, physical freak. Zero sacks, but he did have a 13% pressure rate. So, I mean, we could just go a wet in this spot. Zayvon Collins is on board. Mayfield is there. I want to find a way. When are we back on board? 45 and 58. Do we just take away? Yeah, I think we do. I think we do. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Betting on that upside, betting on potential. And hey, you know, if Daniil Hunter still wants to trade, buddy, we got your physical doppelganger. We have your replacement right here. So we got a couple trade offers. The Browns want to come up. Mm, nah. And the Chiefs. Nah, that's too far. So who's on board? So Kadarius Tony's on board. How fun would that be? Elijah Moore is a stud. Anmuzariki would be that perfect three tech. Wyatt Davis is still on board. I think I may have to just take Wyatt Davis here. Jamin Davis as well could be a potential uh, Anthony Barr replacement long term. Asai is on board. Oh, gosh. That would be sick. That would be sick, sick, sick. All right. We're going to do it. Somehow, some way, it worked out. Why Davis, no matter what. You have your record of the future. Yes, he might start the season on the pup, but that be what it be. Elijah Moore made it. All right, so the Bills are offering a 3-5-6 in a future three. Uh, the Browns are offering a third to move up one spot. Okay. Okay. Got another trade offer. 
So the Chiefs are offering a third and a fifth to come up four spots, which well, who's on board? So Rondell's on board. They're probably going to take Rondell, which is really gross. Really, really gross. Oh, Joe Tryon's still on board. Molden and Richie Grant are still there. Well, let, hold on. Let's recap what we have. So we have that second round pick. We have three thirds. We have three fourths. And you're feeling pretty good. And the Chiefs are offering a two. Can we get a four out of it? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Eh, I always got to look at the extra picks. Oh, all right. So a third just move up four spots. Okay, yoink. Come on, Brett Veach. Be my Veach. Let's go. Life's a Veach. All right, so they, I'm certain that they came up for uh, Rondale Moore, which Rondale Moore in that offense is pretty gross. Yeah, I'm not trading anymore. Um, so let's recap. Uh, Molden went. That's fine. Tryon went. Amari Rogers went. Rondell Moore. That that is perfectly fine. So we got Richie Grant right there. You got Brevin Jordan just sitting there chilling, and we already got Wyatt Davis. We already got Owe. Tufele's there too. Man, man, Tutu Atwell, get some. All right, so Richie Grant. Do we maneuver? Because when do we pick again? 63 and then what? 63, 78, 89, 90, 94. Okay. Uh, we could package some picks, and maybe we will. But obviously, we're taking Richie Grant here, and then we're pause. Pause. Hey, pause. Pause. All right, so who came off the board? Eskridge, Nico, Tutu. That's eh, whatever. Um, so you got two Fele's on board. You got, you got Diami. You got Amon, Ross St. Brown. Yeah, Brevin, Brevin Jordan is a bad mother. <laughs> Even though, yes, you do have Irv and Gronklin. Gronklin's in a contract year. I want to make a move. I, I I do, but what's the move going to be? Well, let's look at defensive tackle. So you could just wait and get McNeil or Twyman, I guess. I really like Tufele, though, but he might fall. You never know. Wide receiver. Yeah, we could still get Felton. I always take Felton, though. I mean, we could move up and get Diami. Or do we just stick and pick? Yeah, you know what? We're just going to stick and pick. We have all these. Oh, the Bengals are offering. Uh, way to come up. So seven. So two threes for a four. Ah, nah, it's too complicated. Too much math. Screw you guys. Now. Right. Oh, so Peyton. He, know, he knows Spielman's weak spot. He wants that seventh round pick. Who's on board? So Amonra's on board. Dufele's still on board. You know what? Nah, I'm just gonna let it go. And it hurts, and it does hurt. All right, so oh, uh, hold, hey, wait, wait, oh, 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 it's doing that phantom uh, auto pick thing again. But we got Spencer Brown. That's okay. All right, so we're on board. Can, can I make my pick now? Hey, computer, can I actually do that? Come on, man. All right, so. Spencer Brown, the massive monster size a tackle from Northern Iowa. That that's fine. Uh, so double already double down on offensive line. Even though I, I would have taken Amonra uh, at seventy eight because he was still on board, right? Mm, yeah, he made it to eighty five. Ah, eh, bollocks. That's whatever. So top of the top of the draft here, top of the big board. Uh, Sean Wade, no, no. So Payton Turner, Mainers, Quincy Roche is there. Roche no way. Just adding that to the uh, defensive line would be sick. Keith Taylor's on board. St. Just is there. Tui Pelotu is on board. We could go this route and then get a, a, a penetrating three tech a little bit later on. Yeah, let's do that. Plus, I mean, we, we have three picks essentially in the next six selections. So let's go. Tui Pelotu, let's go, even though we didn't get Tufele. Do we just still take Quinn Mainers? Because who's on board for interior offensive lineman? Because he got Wyatt Davis, but he might be up on blocks for a hot second. So Mainers, Ben Cleveland. Deontay, Banks, Kendricks is there. Jack Anderson. I mean, we could wait and get Kendricks or Hutcherson or Anderson later on. Or even Ben Cleveland. So, yeah, I'm going to let Mainers go. Sort of hurts. It does hurt. Uh, so, uh, Hamsa's on board. Taylor. Do we tanks it just? I really like his length on the outside. I, I think long-term, him and Cameron Tiny, the answer will be a nice pairing. I mean, Trey Sermon's on board, too. That's really gross. All right. Yeah, let's take St. Just. We already got our safety. We're back on board. All right, so we got a trade offer. So, move back. 
22 spots for a six round pick. Nine. Nueve. No. What do we do? What do we do in this spot? So Aleem McNeil's still there. I really like Aleem McNeil. Ardarius is a bad dude, too. Already got Richie Grant, though. Yeah. Or do we go Twyman? Do we go Twyman or McNeil? Where I think McNeil is a better, more well-rounded three-down, uh, three-tech. But Twyman's first step is ridiculous, man. It is. You know what? You know what? We're having fun here. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, so we, we still have four fourth-round picks. No, third, three fourth-round picks. There we go. We're back up at 125. Resuming the draft. Enhance. I got train offer. No. Go. Yeah. Keep going. Keep on doing what you're doing. Uh, there went Felton. Ah, oh, well. Still have not snagged a wide receiver. All right. So Marvin Wilson is on board. Kendrick Green. Darby. David Moore uh, out of Grambling. Odigi Zua, even though we already doubled down on defensive line. Well, triple down, actually, with uh, Owe. Um, but, hmm. Let's see. Sade Surratt is there. Seth Williams. Oh, let's look at the wide receivers real quick. Dez, Daz, Schwartz. I really do like Schwartz, even though he's untested as a returner. I mean, that's speed. And he's a great hands catcher, and he's just a tough kid. Like, he's not a track guy pretending to be a wide receiver. He is a football player, first and foremost. So, I'm in on Schwartz. We can grab him with one of the other fourth-round picks. Up at the top. So, it basically comes down to, do we want Banks? Do we want Kendrick Green? Do we want David Moore? Because I want to triple that. Oh, Kylan Hill is also there. Because I do want to triple down on offensive line. Yeah, we'll take Kylan Hill. They had a virtual meeting with him. Checking him out. What's going on? So now, I'm going to get Schwartz with the other fourth round pick. But it comes down to, all right, so Green, David Moore. Yeah, just Green and David Moore. Because around everyone else. Oh, Wiggins is there. Chauncey Golston. Wheeler Walker Little Jr. is there. Wow, that's that's off screen. I don't expect Walker to fall that far. All right, so now what are we going to do? We're going to flip a coin. Who do we want? Do we want David Moore of the prior Grambling or we want Kendra Green from Illinois? Mm, yeah. I will take Green. There you go. All right, so we got a trade offer. No, no more trading. I want the Schwartz. May the Schwartz be with you. Anthony Schwartz, come on in. You're the next contestant on Who Wants to Be a Minnesota Fighting Viking. You like it? Yeah. Feeling pretty good. Even though you know some of those compensation packages on the trades, a little bit unlikely, but you never know. Sometimes people get desperate in, in the draft day. So, let's see here. Chauncey Golson's still there. Man, do we just do it? Yeah. So, you got Jason Owe, who's going to be your absolute physical get-after guy. Golston has the size to set the edge as well. Actually, both these guys can set the edge, even though Owe is a little bit undersized. Well, he's similar size to Daniil Hunter, if you want to consider Daniil undersized, but nah. Man, four defensive linemen. I mean, you could just vacate the Vikings' D-line. I wouldn't want to do that, but just left to right, you'd have uh, Chauncey Golston. Uh, you'd have Chauncey Golston. You'd have... Jalen Twyman, you have uh, Tui Pelotu and Jay and Jay Snowe. You would like that. You're pretty okay with that. Now, I mean, do we just pick through and take guys that we like? Jalen Darden, K. Johnson. Yeah. Still haven't drafted a quarterback. But don't see the value. Haven't drafted a linebacker either. Spielman always gets his linebacker. How many picks do we have left? We got one left. I guess it's going to be linebacker. Let's go. But I'm feeling good, man. Feeling good. Oh, it's the last pick in the draft, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. A linebacker. Who we got? Oh, Patty's there? Or it's close to the back end. Patty Fisher, Tough Borland. Can you hold on for one more day? Things will go your way. Oh, way to pick for us again, didn't it? Damn it. Anyway, so this is Super Bowl caliber draft, man. I firmly believe it. I love it. I like it. I love it. Let's get this damn thing going. So, zoom in and enhance. Zoom in and enhance. So, let's see what we got here. Jason Webb. So, the Vikings. What do we trade down? 
Uh, all right, so we trade down once, we trade down twice, we trade down three times a trade down. We trade down a lot. Anyway, uh, at the picks. So we got Jason Owet, you got Wyatt Davis up at the top of the draft, your developmental edge rusher. Uh, maybe he replaces Daniil Hunter, or at minimum, you pair him up with Daniil, as well as working in DJ Wanham. Feeling it pretty damn good. Uh, Wyatt Davis, no matter what, even if he has to be on the pup, eventually be your starting right guard. Richie Grant, the hard-hitting safety, do it all uh, on the back end. Going to pair him up with Harrison Smith. You love it. Uh, Spencer Brown, massive 6'8", physical, toolsy type guy, big-time project. But question is, where do you play him? Probably doesn't have the leverage to play inside. So at minimum, is he you're going to be your future backup swing tackle? Sure. A KB, a six offensive lineman in heavy packages. Sure. Uh, but also, we didn't make that pick. <laughs> uh, the computer just auto picked it. Uh, then we got Marlon Tua Plotu, the defensive uh, lineman from USC. Had a great pro day. Uh, solid against the run. I think he's underrated against the pass. You like him and Tufele together. We were in on Tufele, but didn't quite work out. Benjamin St. Just, a lengthy cornerback from the Gophers. And him and Dancer long term. And then you have Gladney in the slot. You like it. Jalen Twyman is going to add that dynamic lightning quick first step uh, as a three tech in sub packages. I don't know if he ever truly becomes a three down player, but I'm okay with that. Kylan Hill, the great running back and receiver. Kind of scheme agnostic. Uh, slots in as a running back three. I think that's really good value. Kendrick Green, physical freak offensive lineman from Illinois coming on in. So the Vikings... Yeah, they're not ignoring the offensive line anymore. And just because you got Mason Cole doesn't mean that you ignore the offensive line. So Wyatt Davis and Kendrick Green could be your starting guards eventually, or Spencer Brown could work in either way. Plus then you still have Kyle Hinton and Olisi Makaudo doing some damn work. Then you got Anthony Schwartz. May the Schwartz be with you, as well as Jalen Darden. So speed for days, plus uh, Darden has a return element. Chauncey Golson adding size and length on the edge. A nice little project for um, Andre Patterson. And then... Oh, we got we got the Iowa tight end. Didn't take a linebacker, but what can you do? But all I can say is Super Bowl homeboy, multiple Jerome Bardies in this mock draft. Let's go. Let's get that thing on. But uh, your thoughts, Super Bowl caliber mock draft. Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Pull some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.